All right, Scorpio, here we go. This is Soulmate Energy's update for the sign of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of September 2022. It starts about right now, runs right up through September, right up through about the first week of October. I'm not a time lord, but that's about right. It's a general reading. It may or may not resonate with you, but if the title brought you in here, you found Steve's Love Tarot, you're here for a reason. Okay, mm, here we go. These September readings have been interesting. <laughs> They've been a mix. It's been a mixed bag. I don't mind telling you. You're my eighth reading, all right? End of day one. I'll wrap up the rest tomorrow, the remaining four. But, hmm, eight readings in one day. And I, I think I saved the best for last. I always tell you, you must be hot. You know, I say that in the weekly readings and everything like that. I bet you are. Uh, I got somebody here, <laughs> Justice, in my pre-shuffle. Justice crossed by the Five of Cups. The Five of Swords is my coffee house guy, in case you haven't met him. Crossed by the Star, and then the Six of Swords, book ending justice. Well, what does all that mean? Well, I'll paraphrase it for you. Okay, you're obviously their wish. Boy, are you their wish. Big time. But it, their wish is crossing my coffee house guy. Have you met him? Right. Uh, it's, it's a whole lot of... Oh, if I only had the balls to go towards Scorpio, I'd be so happy. They, they hate themselves. Hate themselves with these, with these two fives here for not coming towards you, for not saying something, for not speaking up, for not doing the right thing. What, what, whatever the right thing is in their mind, which, which in general is you. I mean, you're so, you definitely make this person very, very happy. There's no doubt. They, they wished you in. They're mad at themselves. For not doing something. That might be good. Sometimes that anger makes us brave and we do something. Let's find out. All right, let's see. Uh, you know, everybody's course has been corrected here in August. In September, we're driving that proper road. You know, they got a chance. Everybody's person, regardless of how the sign readings have come out during this fly through the zodiac, everybody's person has a chance to do the right thing here. Your person hates themselves for not I, there is god there's so much deception in the energy there is something here that, that they lied to you about i know it i know it's in there even if you don't suspect it i do i'll suspect it for you okay there's something that's got to be keeping them from coming towards you i make jokes sometimes about how they told you it was nine inches long and it's really four so if they whip it out you know as a you know a joke just kind of a thing but it, it, it feels like that in the energy it always does but anyway, that anger might give, me, give them the bravery to come in. Let's find out. This first card out is before the cut. It's why the fuck are we here? <laughs> I said it might give them some bravery. I didn't say it would. First card out, why the fuck are we here, is a page of pentacles. Uh, that's a skittish little page. You know, it, it's someone who, who's nervous about what they're going to say. They think about every word they're going to say. This is the person that, that spies a lot. This is the person that types texts but never really has the nuts to hit the send button on it. It's that kind of thing. It is communication. It does indicate that it's possible. But it's possible from somebody who feels... Well, I want to say they feel small next to you, but it's more than that. It, it's... If, if you look at the card, it's a teenager. can't tell really if it's a girl or a boy. I think it's a girl with the pants half down and all kinds of shit. Trying to fit in. It's somebody who, who feels like they don't fit with you probably more in the sense of because you are a higher vibration than they are and it might you make them uneasy okay there's that uneasiness there all right fine again i reiterate you must be hot okay my hot scorpios here what comes after the cut <laughs> six of wands again it ties my cut cards should always back up the pre-shuffle and they do Someone here is, somewhere in between these two cards is someone who's mad at themselves for not coming towards you, for not feeling, for, for, for feeling small, for whatever it is, for being nervous to talk to you. They know if they reach out to you that there's victory, but in another layer of energy, they also know holding back from you, they tell themselves is some kind of victory. Okay? Oh, Jesus Christ. All right, let's go. Give the deck a final shuffle here. Give me the soulmate cycle from the angle of Scorpio for September 2022. It's unreal. Okay. I actually feel the energy's pretty good. I might be making little wisecracks under my breath, but I feel the energy's pretty good. And I am in my neutral place. But when I see the little pages like that, and I feel the anger at themselves from the pre-shuffle, 
it tells me there might be communication here. There could, there's a, there's a snowball's chance in hell anyway. Let's see. I got my reading. Here it is. I, and I wasn't kidding. I'm not making this shit up because overall energy is the fool. This is the ah, fuck it, I might as well just do it moment. The fool takes a leap of faith. All right? Whatever they're hanging on to, whatever flimsy thing, the anger at themselves might give them the bravery to come towards you. What's underneath this? What's fueling it? Eight of, sword, eight of swords nervous the whole way there. They're just, they're in their head about you. What is it? What is it? Do you have like three tits or something? I mean, what is going on? What is happening? I ain't never, I ain't never banged a three-titted girl before. I don't know. But they're just scared. It's a scared rabbit. What have you done? Okay, and, and you don't get a lot of chances with Scorpios. You get to screw a Scorpio over one time, okay? And then you don't get to screw a Scorpio. All right, that's really the way it works. And uh, maybe that's what they're nervous about. That, you know, did, did they mess you around? I, I don't know. Uh, let's see what's, let's see what's, a reading's on the flip. Here we go, energy around your connection. Here's how they're behaving in the 3D. Here's their soul. Here's a message from the universe, read with the energy of your connection. Here's the potential final outcome. I say potential because I cannot predict free will. No one can. I will clarify everything, throw some universe cards at the end. Fuck it. Let's see where we go. Man, I'm tempted to bang you just to get it, just to help you out. It, it, and we'll send him, we'll send him or her, whoever this is, we'll send them pictures. Right here, uh, energy around the connection. What is it? Two of cups. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, seriously, it, it's it's this whole, and, and this, of course, the Two of Cups is two soulmates coming together. It's the soulmate connection. It's lit up like a Christmas tree. All right, it's all they're thinking about. It's, it's, it's there. It's ready to come together. The table is set. We're just waiting for someone who's very nervous to come to the table. A lot of nerves here. Okay, how are they behaving in the 3D? Immature, Knight of Wands, in and out energy, see? They feel small. In, in, in and out energy is what I get there. Knight of Wands can get, come, can get out as fast as they come in. They come in fast and hot. It, it, it's that brave, impulsive action. And this is sort of the same thing with a leap of faith here in the Fool card. It's that brave, impulsive action. They're so mad at themselves. I felt that in the pre-shuffle for being such a chicken shit that they might just do it. It's possible. They're contemplating it, but they're also at the same time contemplating running away because they feel safe with that. It's like I told you about the victory card, the six of wands. Two energies, success in coming towards you and success in hiding. It's all right there. It's reflected right there. Soul, book ending the two of cups in their soul, Sarah Gilbert. The two of swords, right there. There, there, there it is. It, there's the conflict. I just described it to you. They, they're all... Scared. It's a scared rabbit. It's nervous. It's... Ah! I don't know what to tell you. That's what it is. It, it almost... It's almost flattering. The way, I, the way I feel the energy. It almost is. I mean, you must be awesome. I, I, I don't know. Um, I get a lot of confusion here. Swords don't belong in the soul. There's a lot of confusion by how much they feel this and that urge to run and come towards you. Uh, those two urges are equal. Okay? And that's part of what the Two of Cups is saying too. It's balancing those two urges out. And I get two here. I got a two here and a two here. And in the middle is my in and out. I'm going in. No, I'm not. I'm going in. No, I'm not. Okay. All right. Calm down. Just go. What the fuck in hell? Go, bang, Scorpio. Oh. Okay, it's like a, it, there's your rhyme. Everybody gets a rhyme this month. All right, hidden energy, message from the universe. What's the fickle old gal want to tell us? It's bread with the two of cups. Strength, yeah. That anger is going to give them the strength to do it. That anger at, at themselves that I talked about in the pre-shuffle will give them the courage, possibly, to come towards you. Possibly. I, I have to say possibly because it's up to their free will and I can't predict it. But energetically, the universe is backing my ass up with the strength card here. What I said about the pre-shuffle, that, that anger. Why am I such a chicken? Why, why am I so afraid of? So what if Scorpio's got three tits? That's awesome, right? That, that gives me options. I, I don't know. Okay, but then you gotta come up with three names. That's tough. Okay, anyway, 
Potential final outcome, red with the Knight of Wands, Nine of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's not a communication card. I mean, I mean it. <sighs> mm. It's just telling me as it's red with the Knight of Wands that they're going to pick one. Okay, they're going to pick one and stick with. <sighs> It's not even telling me that. It's it's on some level telling me you might be better off without without this person coming in. You do, do you want someone who's this nervous around you? This feels this below you. They're just going to be snippy with you, really. I mean, if someone like this will will do anything they can to puff themselves up, that might go bad. That could go bad. I don't know. We're going to need to clarify that. The Nine of Pentacles is a card of freedom, card of liberation, card of independence. It's minor arcana, empress energy. It shows me on another level, because energy is always in layers, how intimidated they are by you, because your energy is attached to this. As they come towards you, again, this in and out energy here, it's going to land them in a tower in this, in this core energy cycle we're in. It's not going to be good with all this North Node energy around either, because the North Node in Taurus isn't allowing for wishy-washy. All right, let's clarify. Let's talk to the witches. What's going on with the Two of Cups? Tell me about the Two of Cups universe. What is this? Two of Cups. Jesus Christ. Unreal. I was expecting much more from this person this month. Come on now. There's a, there's a chance. There is a chance. It's better than 50-50 that they show up. Alright, but I'm being, I'm being kind by saying that. Alright, the Two of Cups probably 50-50. Uh, two of Cups. Why is it here? We'll find out. Yeah, look at this. You see this card? Yeah, because it's right here, too, from another deck, the Knight of Wands. Again, and this is red with strength. Yeah, it's a brave, impulsive action. It's not brave. If this person thinks they're being brave by coming towards you, I'm telling you, no way. If you're a chicken shit 80% of the time, 90% of the time, and you do something 10% of the time, you're still net-net a chicken shit, okay? You're not gonna you're not gonna win any wards or you're not gonna get any knighthood for it, you know, brave knight. No, no not really. Uh, but the urge to come towards you is very strong. Okay, so it probably is greater than 50-50 that they do. But I wouldn't take those three tits out unless this person mans or woman's up when they get there. What's on top? Two cups on top of two cups. Did you see that? Did you see what I just did? Two cups. Look. Knight of Wands, Knight of Wands, 3D energy, 5D energy. It's all there. It's all happening. Two cups on top of two cups. It's again. It's net net. Two cups on top of two cups. I could do it by the numbers. Is four cups. Four cups is disappointing. It it adds up to that disappointment they feel in themselves, getting pissed off at how they are. Again, it's more indication that, that you two come together. It's also verifying my read on the original Two of Cups that the table is set. We're just waiting on Mr. or Mrs. Wishy Washy, who's afraid of three titted Scorpio. I mean, it really, honestly, why is the Two of Cups here? Seven of Pentacles. <laughs> the table is set. We're, that's the energy of your connection. The table is set. The universe is screaming out with two Two of Cups that the table is set and we're just waiting on someone here. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Waiting for the harvest. Wait for it. As they get close, you might start to see some signs. All right? Because the affecting energy is that. And that's that brave, that's that Knight of Wands, the impulsive action. But they come in, they go and they chicken out, they come in, they chicken out, come in, chicken out, back and forth. And I see it here in the soul, even in the soul with the two swords. It's creating confusion. It's creating confusion within the connection itself. All right, why is the Knight of Wands here? Mm, let's talk about the Knight of Wands. Mm, Jesus Christ. The table is set here for you two to come together. Doors wide open. Scorpio's watching tarot readings. Well, you're, you should be good to go there, runner. Let's see where we go. Knight of Wands. Why is it here? Tell me about the Knight of Wands. All right. Oh, okay. Three cups. They're nervous about telling you something. I tell you, there's something they lied to you about. I know some of you are like, nah, nah, this guy's Steve. He sucks. He's got it wrong. No, I don't. No, my friends always say I'm annoyingly right. I don't think I'm right all the time. I just know that I'm right this time. I am sure there is something that they lied to you about. There's some reason they're nervous to come talk to you, okay? There's some reason for it. There's some something here. They're nervous to open up. 
They're, they're emotionally immature. This is hard for them. The Three of Cups is about the flow of emotion, the flow of water. It's an internal energy. It's a third energy, but it's inside them. Okay? What's on top? The Queen of Cups. Again, she gives the full cup. They're nervous about this. It's all sitting on top of a very nervous Knight of Wands who's going to take a brave, impulsive action. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it, it, it's probably the product of, as it is with many of the signs, your person's been loved wrong their whole life. It's possible because this is my desert queen here in this deck. I, I don't even see the water on the card, but I know they're nervous about opening up because I definitely see the water here. Why is the queen of cups here? Six of swords. They know to fix this, to move on and to move away from choppy water. And they are, there's two energies attached to this. They know to fix this, that they need to open up. They're nervous about opening up, so they have an in and out energy to them, which leads them to feel like it's safer that you, calling you the choppy water is an excuse to move on, to move their boat away. So they're both moving, it's saying the same, these cards, the clarifiers are saying the same thing that the Knight of Wands said all by itself. They're both moving away from you and coming towards you at the same time and making a decision to do each in mid-motion. So they come towards you. All right, I'm going to go in. No, I'm not. All right, I'm going to go in. No, I'm not. It is that person like the Page of Pentacles. That's why we got it before the cut. I said they'll type a text, but, but hell, if they, I'll be damned if they have the nuts to, or the stones to, to send it, to hit the send button. It's something along those lines. They're both coming towards you and not at the same time. What is the deal with Scorpio? My God. I, I just, okay. All right. Let's talk about the Two of Swords and the Soul. All right. Let's see. This, this could be good. It could be bad. I don't know. Uh, with two Two of Cups over here, this should be a sugar coat reading. But it's not. <laughs> it's, it's not. Because this guy's standing there. Uh, well, you know. The, the, the person, you, on the other side is waiting. Okay, the table's set. The energy's there. There's one person at the table. Where are the other one? Let's see. Two of Swords. Why is it here? Two of Swords. Why? 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 Page of Pentacles again. We were just talking about the Page of Pentacles. Sure enough, there it is. Page of Pentacles. Uh, again, very nervous. Very nervous. They keep an eye on you, or they think about you a lot, or they dream about you a lot. That's all spying energy. It's there. I can feel that. Um, but when this comes up in the soul, all the way down to the soul, the soul is getting confused. And it doesn't normally. It's just the energy around it that does. The soul doesn't know confusion or anything like that. It only knows love. But this person here is just petrified about something. What? What's on top of the two of swords? Five of Pentacles. Maybe they... Okay, it's, it's an energy of winter. It's an energy of lack. So maybe they told you they had something that didn't. Again, I back up my fucking joke. And I know some of you don't... I mean, you laugh and you're like, ha, 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 Steve being Steve, right? Yeah. No, I back this up. It's, a, it's an energy of lack, an energy of winter. I, I still make the damn joke. They told you it was nine inches long and they know damn well it's four. There's not much they can do about it. Maybe you can wrap it in a towel or something, you know, so it fills up more space. I don't know. But either way, I feel like that's what they're nervous about. They're nervous about talking to you. It creates a lot of uneasy energy around the soul. The table is set, but they're still not coming in. They're both coming in and out. They're running away and coming towards you at the same, oh man, you know, and they're mad at themselves that they don't have the, the stones to do it. They end, that right here with the strength card is what might, might possibly bring them in is that pissed offness and they're nervous to talk to you and I ask the universe why and it gives me five fucking pentacles which, is, which can mean anything it can mean they lied to you about their money it can mean they don't feel like they have enough money it can, mean that it, can, it can also mean other things beyond money it can mean they lied about something practical they lied about the size of their unit they lied about whatever. I have no idea. It's as though you lied, right? We all know from this reading that you have three tits. Maybe you lied and said you only have two. And they know you know, when you take your shirt off, they're going to see. They're going to know there's three. Okay? So I, it's like that. All right? Is there something here? Some sort of lack. They, they are nervous because they lack something. It's not for all of you. It's not a lie. It, it's just within them. They feel like they lack something. They feel like it's too small. 
Okay? But for some of you, they lied about something. That energy is there. And that verifies it. Why is the Five of Pentacles here? The lovers. See? They know they're going to have to take their pants off when they see you. And, and it, it really, it's, <laughs> this guy right here, he's real good. He's real good with, at, at the kissing and all this stuff here. But uh, then she's like, okay, let's go. And he's, oh, I, I, I can't, I got to go to work early in the morning. I'll see you, you know, takes off. And she just, what, at the, what you don't see is what happens afterwards. She's just there by herself, confused. What the hell just happened? We, we just spent two hours making out here under the angel. And then he just made up some story that he had to go home. You know, it, it feels like that. I translate energy. Energy comes to me as feelings. I translate it into words. I do it through analogies. I do it through bullshit stories and things along those lines. It's just me. All right? We have to be ourselves when we translate energy. I'm not being literal. But I am telling you the truth of the energy that's here. They don't feel like... On some level, they don't feel, I guess I could sum it up and say they're, they're not on the level of this, yet they feel this. You live in their soul, and it's driving them batshit crazy. You want to see batshit crazy? It's right here. Look at, look at her. So, blindfold on, swatting at crows that are tied to her with barbed wire. I mean, it's, it's, it's crazy. All right, so whatever the deal is, I've given you the deal as best I can. All right, you'll have to, you'll have to relate it to your situation. But I still say for a good number of you, they exaggerated something. I won't call it a lie. I'll call it an exaggeration. It's still a fucking lie, but whatever. Let's talk about the strength card. Now, the universe is convinced, as am I, from the pre-shuffle, that, that anger at themself is, uh, themselves is what's going to bring them in. Okay? It, it, it does. When we get pissed, we get real brave. It's true. But, I still say there's a but. Let's see. Why is the strength card here? Tell me about it. This is confusing. Okay, this, this is just primarily you intimidating them. All right? It really is. And she kind of looks like she has three tits. Anyway, anyway, that is you. Oh, the uh, strength card. Why is it here? Tell me about the strength card. Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, it, it's, it's a crapshoot. The, the, the anger at themselves might give them the strength to come in. It might not. Again, this person is so fucking in and out, in and out, in and out. It's tough to call. It's tough for the damn universe to try to predict it, right? If this was a weather channel and, and the universe was the weatherman, you would tune into the weather channel. It would say it's going to be sunny today. And then there would be emergency cut in on the TV show about two minutes in that you were watching where I know I said it was going to be sunny, but it's going to rain. And then you're like, oh, shit, it's going to rain. And then... Two minutes later, they cut in again. No, 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 it's going to be sunny. No, no, that's the, it, it, it's flying around in circles. You must be hot, okay? You must be fucking, it's a crapshoot. What's on top? The fool. The fool is our overall energy. The fool is right there. That strength, they might get the strength to come in. They might. They might. The wheel, this, this is, sometimes this wheel stops. The energy stops at 180 degrees. And everything's different, everything changes, and sometimes it's just spinning. You know, on that game show Wheel of Fortune, Pat Sajak don't even know where it's going to land. Okay, when the wheel's spinning, nobody knows where it's going to land. You know, one minute, it, oh, here comes the 5,000 space. Oh, yeah, oh, here comes a bankrupt. Oh, like that. That's what's going on here. Why is the fool here? <laughs> the Empress. <laughs> You're scary to this person. This is Minor Arcana Empress. Its lead-in card is the Empress. You, the reason they're, they're, that you're waiting on them is because you're awesome. Because you're in this energy, your higher vibration. This backs up exactly what I told you just a few minutes ago in this reading. You're a higher vibration. You intimidate them. That's the whole point we're here because of that Page of Pentacles. The reading backed it up. You know, you are very... There's something... There, they're afraid to come bang you. I mean, I don't know how else to phrase it. I have to phrase it like that. It's, why are you so intimidated? What is your deal? Okay? I don't know. I, I myself have never been in this position with a person. There isn't someone that I can't imagine who would make me feel this way. And, and I use my, I draw on any energy reader to be a good energy reader. Okay? On any level of energy reader. You have to draw from your life experience so that you know how to translate the feelings into words. I have never felt like this about anyone. I've never been this afraid. 
I, I'm the opposite. And I've told you this before. I, if, some, if I think somebody is super hot out of my league, back in the day, I would go for it anyway. Why? Because my logic was, hey, maybe I get it, right? <laughs> you know, I mean, if I don't, I don't. But always stay neutral. You never know. You don't ask, you, you, you don't get. You don't know till you try. This person here is afraid to try, but there's something that they feel inferior all the way down to the soul about something. Either something they lied about, something they exaggerated about, or just an energy within themselves that makes them feel like they're not enough for, this, for the power of this connection. It's very strong. Because while the lovers may be here, it's just an indicator of what they don't feel worthy of, okay, or what they're worried about. And it's all sitting on top of two swords. All right, nine of pentacles. So you're intimidating. We get it. All right, that's why you're waiting. There you are, table set. Harvest ready to come in. Oh, well, you know. The leap of faith. Why is the fool here? They got to get the strength up to take the leap of faith because you're fucking awesome. Even in a frumpy green dress. Awesome. All right? Yeah, I'll tell you. Okay. Nine of Pentacles. I said it. I'll say it again. You must be hot. And I will keep saying it until this energy changes. It's the same thing over and over again. I think even if you bang this person, they would... I'm not sure they could function. I'm not sure in this energy, I, in and out. I think if they're a dude, it would be hard than soft, hard than soft, hard than soft. You have to keep re-energizing it all the way through the damn thing. What the hell? Quick, touch it. Right? I mean, I don't know. Uh, Jesus, holy crap. <laughs> what the fuck? Nine of Pentacles. What's the final final on this universe? I tell you what. These September readings have been something else, man. <laughs> wow. Fucking hell. Oh. All right. The Nine of Pentacles. Why is it here? Crossing the Nine of Pentacles is the Knight of Swords. Yeah. In, another in and out energy. Another fast moving night. Doesn't have another. Uh, mm, they've got something to tell you. This energy always, oh wow, it's red with these, always ties to the soul in some level. Definitely ties to this. The table is set. They, they're coming in. They got the Knight of Swords always has a specific message, but again, it's that in and out energy. It's that it requires a bit of bravery to go for it. What is on top of this? I can only imagine eight cups again. Yeah, ah. Uh, it's, it's it's an inferiority complex. It's ah, oh, the, the Scorpio is so awesome. You know, I should just they they're just gonna walk away anyway. They're not gonna want to keep me. You know, I can't meet, match them on their level. You know that it's it feels like that. It feels. But the thing is, is is if it's what I told you earlier. You might be better off without this damn person because it, the universe here is like, yep, they're they're getting away. It's almost confirming your person's fear that you're getting away. Yeah, because you're in Empress energy. You're attracting things on a high level. You're attracting new soulmates and all of that. Your energy was part of that singles read I did last week recently, right? It, which had all that energy of you basically walk outside. You're attracting everybody who even says hello or makes eye contact with you is someone you've known before, you know, in a past life. Yeah. Why is the Eight of Cups here? Ace of Cups. Yeah. Um, yeah. It, it might. They might show up out of the anger at themselves, combined with the fear that you're getting away. But the problem is, you're awesome. Okay. They're holding on to a lot of love for you, but I think they're afraid to give it for some reason. I think they're afraid to offer it to you. There's all, all, I got fools, I got two fools, two knight of wands and a knight of swords and a five of pentacles over here. It's all an indicator of somebody where going towards you is something they have to be brave to do. Okay? To a point that, that makes sense, but to, but it also doesn't make sense in, in, a, in, in the sense of, yeah, we have to be brave to go toward things we love, but we don't have to psych ourselves out and keep chickening out of it. That's, is, that, this is different. This is a whole different thing than just being brave going towards something. All right. I, I didn't get it. I didn't get a Knight of Cups here. All right. The Knight of Cups just, yeah, they're, they're nervous too, but they're, they're moving at a trot and going for it. You know. All right. Let's pull three cards from the universe. What else the universe? So they might, they might reach out if they can push past how awesome you are. 
I wouldn't do do not lower your vibration for anybody. You're you're vibrating high here. That's good. Alright? You don't need someone who's afraid of you. You know, this is silliness. Uh, and anybody and if you find yourself other people are intimidated by you and you're like, Steve, but I'm not getting any because everybody's intimidated by me, blah blah blah. Fuck them. Wait for the real thing. Wait for someone that's on your level. Or just, you know, I don't know, dumb it down for a minute if you want to get if you want to bang someone. I mean, whatever. But don't make any long range plans. But realistically you should never lower your vibration for someone else. It's it's the onus is on them to raise theirs to get you. Alright? You know, the Empress doesn't just bang anybody. The Empress, not unlike a few other cards I talk about, doesn't come out for a bang in a bar parking lot. She don't do that, male or female. It's not the Empress. Alright? Oh my god, is that the Empress hunched over that car over there? Holy shit, what's going on? Yeah. No, you won't ever hear that. That's not happening. Alright? Unless she got drugged by the devil. That's not happening. Give me three cards. What else you want to tell Scorpio before we go? Alright. Give me three cards. What do you want to tell Scorpio? Uh, Ace of Wands. We always pull from the bottom with this. Ten of Pentacles. Temperance. And look who's here. The Knight of Cups. Everything I just told you just got validated right here by the message from the universe. I read the energy first, then I pull the cards, so that's not surprising. Okay? Hold out for the real deal. Okay? It, it really is. Your energy is, your vibration is very high. If this person's intimidated by you, afraid to come towards you, the table's set. It's there. It's supposed to happen. There's something they can learn from you. The, there is potential here for you guys to, to, to be together if somebody can get past themselves. But they need to do the inner work first. But regardless, there's something new coming your way. There's something very... You will, in this energy, you will attract this. You will attract the Knight of Cups, the real deal, Ten of Pentacles. You'll have a passionate new beginning. And it'll be balanced and fair. Temperance. Angel energy. It's my mechanic angel right there. He's available. You can go for him. He's got a good job. Owns his own shop. Right? He smokes too much, but whatever. You know. You get the inheritance earlier. I, I don't know. Either way, backing up what I said. Don't lower your vibration for anybody, but somebody here... Very, very strong energy around that Five of Pentacles. Okay? You know what? Fuck it. I'm going to pull on the Five of Pentacles some more. Uh, I, whatever, you're my last reading of the day. You know, sometimes when someone's the last customer of the day, you, you know, whatever. Um, Five of Pentacles, tell me more about this. Why the fuck do they feel so damn inferior? What are they nervous about? What do they fear they lack? I swear to God, if I get the tiny penis card upright, I'm going to freak out. Okay, I got the little animal deck here. It's a fresh deck. We haven't touched it here for this reading. Tell me about the Five of Pentacles universe. I'm just going to do regular clarifiers on it. A crossing card and two cards. Okay? Let's see. Tell me about the Five of Pentacles. Why is the Five of Pentacles here? Tell me more about this energy. And don't give me the Five of Pentacles, please. For God fucking sake. Five of Pentacles crossed by the Emperor. Mm -hmm. They don't... Mm, they don't feel like an Emperor. Okay, it, it, the crossing energy is the emperor. They're your, you're the empress. They're the emperor. You, we have a divine couple here. But somebody, something happened to this person that, that has lowered their, their self-confidence on some level. Or they've lost, may, perhaps they have suffered a loss. Again, there's this whole energy of not being able to meet you on your level. In fact, in this, with this second two of cups that came out, in this witch's tarot, they are not equal. They're not on the same level. Okay, and that's coming out there, and that is directly bookending, in fact, this Five of Pentacles. And this is saying the same thing, crossing it. All right, they don't feel like the Emperor. The Emperor has lost something that has hurt, hurt or damaged their ego. And again, it could just be the Emperor lied. They're not really an Emperor, right? The Emperor lied. They told you they had a Ferrari. They don't, you know, they, they don't. They have a Ferrari, but it's a toy car. Right, kind of a thing. Not a lie, just a uh, slight exaggeration. No, it's a lie. What? What's on top? Six of Swords. Uh, they want to fix it before they come towards you. They need to feel right to come towards you. They need to feel like they're at least a little bit closer to your level before they come towards you. Okay? Before, which is stupid, to be honest with you. The, the way they get to your level is coming towards you. Their vibration goes up just by growing a pair and coming towards you. 
Why is the Six of Swords here? Queen of Swords. It's Queen of Truth. It's cold detachment. It's, it's an energy of winter. Again, winter. Um, what's on top of that? Yeah, it's, it's it, again. It's it's the it's the fear. I, the easiest way to phrase it is the fear that they're not they're not on your level. They're not they're not royalty. This person they know that here. There's a fear about something. They know the truth. This is the queen of truth. Knows the truth. Is the truth. Speaks the truth. All right. There's a there's something. I still stand by it. There's something they exaggerated or lied to you about. Okay. Something here, and they need to fix that. In, or, in some way or patch it up a little bit so that they can come towards you. That's why they hold back. There's a lot of fear about the truth. A lot of fear about this. A fear that you might cut them out if you knew the truth kind of energy here. Okay? I mean, on one level I understand it. On another level I don't. Maybe the emperor, you know, should just... All that matters is... It, this is it's, what's funny is this is in the soul. The soul, even, let's say, for example, this was financial, okay? They lost all their money. Well, that's, a, that's all 3D energy. That's ego. You should never base your self-worth on how much money you have or how much shit you have because that can be taken away. I, I laugh my ass off at people that think they're powerful because they have high-ranking jobs and make you know, high six-figure incomes and things like that. I laugh my ass off at them. You're not powerful. You know, you're a superficial asshole who thinks that means anything. You lose the job, the stock market crashes, you lose the money, then what do you got left? Then you're nothing. Then you're exactly what this energy feels like to me. You know, someone who's all, all in, feels inferior. All that matters is your soul. It can't be taken away. It's eternal. That's what you want to build up. That's where your real self-confidence comes from. Real self-confidence comes from the soul. It does not come from shit that you have in the pentacle practical and this is but this is this person's problem all of, now they need to fix this in order to come towards you or make it right somehow or make it look like it's real or something whatever along those lines this wouldn't matter if their soul was on your level if they were actually the emperor to your empress this wouldn't matter this this five of pentacles it wouldn't matter because they would still they would still be who they are and who we really are is in the soul. They would already have their shit together. They'd have the confidence anyway. They'd just show up and go, yeah, I lost it all, whatever, I'll make more. Whatever, something like that. People that feel the need to... You can always spot people who don't live life by the soul. Life by the cup, for example. And they live life by the pinnacle. They, they're very braggy about what they've got. And if they lose it, they're all sad about it, you know? They're, they're, they're very, everything, everything is a retail therapy for them on some level. I'm not saying that's your person. This could be some other practical thing. They could have very well lied about their willy or something along those lines. But they're nervous about the truth coming out and you cutting them out. And I can see why because they can really feel this connection when the table is set here. So they, they might grow a pair and show up. They might not. If they do, you know. Don't lower your vibration to suit them. Make them come up to you. They have the potential. This emperor is telling me that. All right, that's your that's your reading. And again, don't worry about this this kind of stuff. This stuff is nonsense. It's it's the brain that tricks you into thinking it means anything. It doesn't. Real power comes from the soul. It can't be taken away. Who you are. That's what's important. That's who you really are. And that's what's important. That's your reading. I hope it was helpful. If you like this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. Appreciate all the subscribers, everybody who shares, and everybody who watches. Good luck.